Good afternoon, and I'm bringing you a special treat today to the channel. I had a realization because of the fact that I'm storing two cars for friends and that my roommate has an Acura RDX on test that there are actually 12 Acuras here at the house for seven days. So I'll do a quick walk through the garage and show you each and every one of them, as well as those that are parked outside. And you can see just how crazy the neighbors must think we are. And things start out here, of course, in what is my laundry room, but also my uh, showcase here where I have all sorts of swag and memorabilia. But this is my key portfolio. So each one, because some of the cars have identical keys to one another, has some sort of identifier um, so they don't make the embarrassing mistake of grabbing the wrong key for the wrong car. And welcome to the showroom. This is where I keep six of the cars. Those especially that are period correct from the around 1991 to 93 era. So everything in here has a, its own story and I'm not gonna get too deeply into that. But starting with the uh, long tried and true 572,000 mile Legend Coupe 6-speed. I've had this for almost 17 years and it's still the most bulletproof thing in the whole collection. I would trust it to the moon and back again. There's the current odometer reading as of today, 572.283. Moving on from there is the 92 Integra GSR. This is my second highest mileage car, so I guess it's appropriate that it's parked by the Coupe. This has 251,000 miles on it. A little bit of supporting documentation and paperwork for that as I try and keep with all the cars. That's my GSR. Of course, the NSX, I just celebrated eight years with that this year. It's a 92 Formula Red on black five-speed, about 116,000 miles on that, all stock and original. Next to my lowest mileage car, and the only one wearing collector historic plates so far, is a 92 Integra GS sedan five-speed. This only has 73,000 original miles, and I bought it from the original owner last year, about a year and a half ago. Uh, her name was Maxine, and she was a sweet lady. Gave me all sorts of records on it. There's this window sticker on this, laminated copy of it anyway. Then we have the Legend Sedan. This is a GS model, six-speed manual, super rare to find with the four-door and a stick. I bought it as a uh, accompanying twin to the coupe about 11 years ago with the intention of making it a daily driver at the time, but I never ended up needing it because the coupe just kept going. So over the course of 11 years, I've only put about 30,000 miles on this car. Today it's sitting at around 161. I did have an aftermarket custom Burlwood steering wheel added to that car. Nice little upgrade. And who could forget the 94 Acura Vigor GS? That is a five-speed manual. I guess this is a good time to point out every car in this garage has a three-pedal traditional stick shift in it. The Vigor is a Colorado car. I bought it from a Subaru dealership, believe it or not, in the Denver area. It was a trade from the original owner named Kathy and it has about 115,000 miles on it. There's some paperwork for that one as well. I have window stickers, either replicas or originals for every car in the garage. And I kind of love the library or record keeping side of car ownership just as much as I do 
owning the cars themselves. So along the walls, you'll see a collection of things, either magazine articles or special memorable events. This was the NSX um, NS Expo back in 2015 at the Palm Springs Air Museum. Some photos and memorabilia from various trips, including when I drove the ILX to Alaska. A recent family photo with everything, a Hemmings uh, magazine feature with the Integra, and just various other swag along the way. Of course, the banner has been a centerpiece of the garage since 2011 when Acura threw me a party and I hit 500,000 miles in the coupe. This collection of photos over here next to my famous Amazon red tape or red velvet rope are the drawings done by Darren of idrewyourcar.com. Definitely hit him up if you have a cool car that you want to have rendered digitally. He does a really good job with that. Last but not least, let's go outside. I think these ones are likely to be a little bit dirty because they do sit out. This is my 2000 model year, 3.5 RL. Been in the family for almost 15 years. It has 211,000 miles on it. A little bit of wear and tear, but for a 20 year old car, it has actually held up really well and it's served the family well. I like to use it as my go-to uh, airport shuttle car. Next to it is uh, a car that belongs to a friend of mine. This is Jason's 92 Integra GSR. You might recognize this car from a recent auction on Bring a Trailer. He won the auction a couple months ago and is in the process of sorting out some of the details on this car to just basically bring it back to stock. Interesting to point out, this GSR is actually only 375 uh, production numbers away from mine that's in the garage. So they were essentially twins uh, separated at birth in 1992. Finally, out here we have a 1995 Legend LS Coupe six-speed manual. This is a Cayman White Pearl, one-year-only color. Belongs to a friend in Salt Lake City who's just storing it here. Um, he'll actually be coming to get it next month, so Sadly, it will go away. I've enjoyed uh, driving it around every few weeks for about a year that it's been here. It's a really cool car with about 185,000 miles on it. And of course, you'll recognize the wheels. Those are off of a 2002-2003 TL Type S. We of course can't forget about the Acuras that are out front of the house. This is my tried and true daily driver, 2013 ILX. 2.4 liter six speed manual, just rolled 222,222 miles earlier today, in fact. Had this car for about seven and a half years and it's been absolutely bulletproof. I think the only unscheduled maintenance items on that were a starter at 194,000 and an alternator at 216. Over here we have two SUVs. The first one is a 2020 RDX A Spec. This is being currently tested, road tested by my roommate James, who has a blog called Six Speed Blog. And this is his press car for the week. So he's going to have it for seven days put it through its paces and it definitely fits right in here at the house. Check out those exhaust tips. Moving right along, we have the 96 SLX fresh out of the show a couple weeks ago in Southern California, Radwood. So this vehicle was in a short uh, video clip that Acura produced in connection with it's restoration project of a similar 97 SLX that's been retrofitted with fully modern technology and performance. So you've seen plenty of videos on this one. 
on my channel in the past and uh, it does what it needs to do. And that's it. That's 12 Acuras at the house on a Saturday here.